I have a special video for you today. We're going to be talking about Reality Composer. Some of you may not know what that is, and that's fine because we're going to go over that in this video. But what it's going to allow you to do is make cool objects and make them react in the real world. You may have heard of augmented reality. Well, it's not too difficult to do with this app. What you can do, for example, and what we'll show you in this video is to create a bell. And we'll put a bell outside into the camera, basically. So when you point your phone somewhere, you're going to see the bell in the real environment. And it's going to actually react as well. You can actually ring the bell. It's pretty awesome, and I think it's neat. Even if you're not a big iPhone person or augmented reality person, this is cool just to show off to other people and be like, look what I did. And there's no limit to this. And if you are like a developer, you could even do this and save your objects and put them into your own app. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. Would love to have you. Here we have the Reality Composer. It's made by Apple. You could just go on the App Store and download it for free and you will be all set and you can follow the steps with me here and do exactly what i'm doing and create your first augmented reality object so first let's go ahead and choose it you're gonna come up to this area here we're gonna go ahead and choose create document i'm gonna create and open a document we'll go ahead and choose horizontal and what it's going to do is put an object on a flat surface. So if you're trying to put it on a flat surface, you can do that. There was also other things as well, like you could put it on a wall. I believe there's four. Now, first thing you want to do is select the object. And we're going to go ahead and hit select to edit and choose replace. So here is your library. There's going to be a lot of different things you can create it with. You can also take your own pictures and import them as well. I'm going to just scroll through here so you can see everything you have to work with that comes with it automatically. The marbles, chess pieces, sports equipment. A really good starter library. There's a good amount of stuff. The one we're looking for is at the bottom, so we are going to scroll down all the way and show you. That way you can get an idea of what object you want. You don't have to use the bell like I am. That's completely up to you. Our bell, we'll be right back with that. That is the bottom. Technology, I like the floppy disk. <laughs> A little outdated there, Apple. So we're going to go ahead and choose the bell here. Click the three dots at the top right. And we're going to choose behavior. Behaviors are kind of things you want it to do. So we'll go and choose that. I'm going to plus sign to create a new behavior. First thing I want to do is tap and flip. I want the object to flip. And we got that all set up. You hit the little play button, see what it does. It does exactly what we want it to do. Flips like it's ringing. Now we'll go back to behaviors. We'll hit the plus sign and we'll add another behavior. This time we're going to choose tap and play sound. Since we're already tapping it to flip it, this will play the sound at the same time. We'll choose from here. We're going to choose this here. So when we tap it, it plays it. And now we need to select the object, which is the bell. And we hit done. Go back to behaviors. And we have an error. And this happens a lot for me. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get it off it done on this one too so we have both of them okay that's what it looks like it was so we had to choose it the object on this one and choose the object on this one once we chose it on both we were able to go back and we have no errors here so now let's go ahead and hit the play and if we tap it it should flip and ring there we go hopefully it wasn't too loud it's hooked up to my monitor so i can't tell just in case, let's go down a little bit. Let's play it. Awesome. 
But now you have an idea of what we're looking at. So what we're going to do next is we're going to bring it into the real world. And I'm turning, so hopefully you can still hear me all right. We're going to go ahead and choose AR. That's going to activate your camera. You're going to look for the surface. And it's going to put it there. And now if we hit play, we can tap it and ring. So let's actually go back out of AR and just change one other thing. We want to delete this. We don't need that anymore. That's just kind of like helper to get started in case you want to move it around and stuff. Go back in AR and we'll hit play. And there's the bell. Now you can do this with, like I said, pictures and images from the internet. So there's a lot of different options you have. And it's pretty neat that that's just there because if I look at it without looking at the phone, there's no bell there. And it even has a shadow on it, which is pretty amazing that it has that. Stop and go back. And then we can go back again and you have that item saved. So now you have that item saved. You can send it up to the cloud if you want to save it and put it on your own app. You can do anything like that. You can create as many of these as you want and show off to people and be like, look at it, don't you see that there? Now you can even put a ghost or something. <laughs> you know, you could be, uh, have a little fun with it. But I hope this video helped and I hope you do enjoy the Reality Composer. If you did enjoy it, please list down below what you chose to create and how you liked it. I'd really appreciate that. Here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy and thank you so much for the view.